Grace and peace, family. Grace and peace. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. My at hotel. Namaste. Free the land, beloved. Come on in, come on in, come on in. My name is Vicki Dillard, and I'm a very proud contributor right here on FlyNubianQueenTV.com, the network for melanated women just like you. We're so pleased that you are with us today. Come on in, come on in. Uh, we know that the notifications didn't go out. There's no surprise for uh, the Vicky show. I won't be before you long, but I will be strong. Thank you so much for tuning in today, family. Just a little bit of housekeeping before we get ready to get into this most important subject today. Just before we get into this most important subject today, um, I want you do, to help me do a little bit of housekeeping, family. You know how we do. Shout out to my Instagram family, by the way. Instagram, please get ready to come on over to FlyNubianQueenTV.com because I'll be using this device shortly. I came here to invite you to come to FlyNubianQueenTV.com so that I can talk to you about some important information. Thank you so very much. By the way, Black family, you can join me. You can follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard. Follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard. Thank you so very much. Again, uh, a little bit of housekeeping. We say, come on in, giving us a thumbs up, thumbs up. Be sure to like, be sure to share. Be sure to like, be sure to share. Don't forget you can text the word Queens to 31996 so that you're able to receive phone notifications when we go live from time to time. Thank you so very much. Let folks know, tune in to the Vicky Show. That's the lady with the curly braids. I am so pleased to be with you today. Black family, I have to start the show in the most appropriate way. I have to, I have to. I have to start the Vicky show in the most appropriate way. And I often say this and I'm going to continue to say this. We are at war. We are at war with the people who exhibit anti-human traits and characteristics and behaviors. We are at war with the people that believes in publicly lynching us, keeping the video footage, keeping body parts as evidence of their slaughter. We are at war with the people who don't believe the way you believe. A people that don't believe in the sanctity of life. A people who calls your murder justifiable homicide. Oh baby, Vicky's holding court today. A people that calls your murder justifiable. Think about that. Justifiable. And we have been in this predicament in one way or another for 465 years. It is not because the physical chains are on the majority of us, though they are on many of our black family within the prison industrial complex. But it is because too many of us are wireless slaves. Too many of us are wireless slaves. 
some of the reason we are in this predicament, black family, is because of our slowness. Because too many of us are retarded. This is no disrespect to any mentally ill person. I'm using the word in the general and technical sense of slowness. I need you to hang out with me for a minute. It's because of your slowness to recognize, to accept the nature of your 465 year old open enemy. Lord have mercy today. When you engage a rabbit Rockweiler, pit bull, when you interface with a grizzly bear, a coyote, a snake, you do not ask them where they live, Lord have mercy, and tell them I want to follow you home because I want to live in your neighborhoods, Lord. Have mercy, I need somebody black. Is there anybody black? Is there anybody black that can talk black to me? That's what a power is, for real, for real. You do not seek to integrate with them and you do not seek the approval of a fox or a snake. God, did they? The people of the outdoors. Somebody said the people of the outdoors. See, this is my polite way of describing folk that do not exhibit human traits. I need you to listen to me. When someone shows you who they are for 465 years and they have not let up, you treat them like any other rabbit, dog, snake, Bear, coyote, feel free to put some animals in the chat. Shout out to you, AJ, for the first gift. Underwriting black media, I bless your gift a thousandfold. AJ said, talk black to me. Indeed, beloved. Listen, you don't ask where they live. You're not trying to go to the, the snake schools and stuff. You don't want, you don't care nothing about where these bears are hibernating at, talking about let me hang out with you this season. No, baby, you have no desire to be within proximity of someone that is another species. Shout out to you, Candy. Candy says, Queen, I am I am dying fighting. Live and slay. My soul is on fire. Shout out to you, Roberto, for your gift and your kind words. Your press is gonna kill you anyway. Just, oh, well, I'm going to let him say what he said. The devil is a lie. It's a new season and a new day. Listen, I understand what you're saying, though, Roberto, but listen. Keep giving us a thumbs up, thumbs up. Be sure to like. Instagram, Instagram. There's quite a few of you watching on Instagram. Shout out Instagram. Instagram, I want all of you all to get ready to come on over to flynubingqueentv.com. I promise you, I'm not going to be before you long today. I know y'all be like, Vicky, you say that and you get carried away. I know it because I've been moving by spirit, but I really believe that I got a short uh, a word that's going to be under an hour or at least no more than about an hour. Thumbs up, thumbs up, like and share. Again, we know that the notifications haven't gone out. That's okay. I believe at the right time, the right people will hear this broadcast. Plus, I'm talking on my Twitter account at Dillard Vicky. I'm talking on my Instagram a lot at Vicky X Dillard. You can follow me on my uh, personal uh, uh, Facebook page at Vicky Dillard as well as my personal uh, YouTube page at Vicky Dillard TV. And I'm a contributor on other networks as well. Somebody talk black to me. Shout out to you, Bruce, for your gift. I bless your gift a thousandfold. Watch this. Bruce says, I'm thoroughly angry and I'm tired of hearing they're good uh, police officers. That's right, beloved. Thumbs up, thumbs up. I love you back. Quascari, I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Listen, watch this. So when people, when our open enemies act like they belong outside. <laughs> when I'm talking about outside, beloved, I'm talking about I'm speaking symbolically. When you behave like you belong outside, that's our polite name we're going to call you, is the outdoorsman. Somebody black talk black to me. The outdoorsman is not just the male. The outdoorsman I'm referring to 
is also this white female. That's who we're going to talk to today. Our prayers and our condolences for the beloved family of those who have been recently slain like George Floyd, our dear brother. You all know, stay tuned to one of those platforms that I just mentioned a few minutes ago, because you know, in due course, I'm going to talk about it. I missed my show yesterday. And of course, a lot of stuff was happening all weekend um, that I did not get a chance to get to. You all know that I have to take care of me medically um, and so forth. So I'm pleased to be before you today. Thank you so much for joining the Vicky Show. Watch this. So these outdoorsmen, that's what we're going to call them. Somebody put in the, in the chat, hashtag outdoorsmen. These outdoorsmen, why do we call them that again? It's because your behaviors are non-human. People of the inside don't act like that. So these outdoorsmen, outdoorsmen also includes outdoors men and women, the, the, the male and the female of that group. We have to begin to treat them like another species. Now, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being serious. I'm being serious. Shout out to you, Kevin, for your gift. I bless it a thousandfold. Watch this. Why? Because it is a life or death situation if you, Black family, choose not to. What did I just say? I told you earlier that one of the reasons why we've been in the predicament that we've in we've been in for so long is why some of it is contributable to us because we have engaged our open enemy as if they're us and if they're our friend. You've been fighting, breaking laws, rules and regulations, putting your life on the line so that you can have sexual access to them, so you can live in their neighborhoods, so that you can work in their schools, someone talk black to me, and their businesses so that you can eat their food that they just spit in and peed in and did all kinds of other stuff that you know not of. Somebody black talk black to me. Listen. Knowing the nature of your enemy is what's going to give you the advantage. Shout out to you, James Prosper, for your $50 gift. James says, talk black to me, Queen Vicky. I will, beloved. I bless your gift a thousandfold. Thank you so much for supporting black media. Shout out to you, Arlene, for your $50 gift. I bless it a thousandfold. And your funny emoji there. Thank you, beloved. Listen, it's important because your slowness To recognize, to accept, and to behave as if your open enemy is another species is what's causing us to have unnecessary casualties. We've discussed that in any war, you do know that there were, there's likely going to be loss of life. But your job is to try to mitigate or to lessen that impact. You are not moral or cute or upstanding, you're not deep or profound because you sit there and say, y'all just like us, we just like everybody else. The devil is a liar, the real devil. The real enemy. We're not talking about some spook. We're not talking about some satanic name and whatever mindset or whatever thought process that you think Satan is. Let me help your funny looking self understand something. If you wanna go scripture, AJ, thank you for your gift. AJ said truth and facts. If you want to go scripture, it's written that the thief, that some of the traits of the enemy does three things. What? We already talk, we already, we always talk about this class as what? To steal, kill, and destroy. Is that not right, family? What other group of people goes around America and around the world stealing, killing, and destroying? Oh, we can give you scripture. John 10, chapter 10. Somebody talk black to me. John 10, verse 10. John chapter 10, verse 10 says what? The thief or the enemy comes to do what? Steal, kill, and destroy. That, that, that gives you some traits. It helps you to identify who the real enemy is. Who does that? Who goes about stealing, killing, and destroying stuff? And then we have another most useful scripture that helps us to identify traits of our open enemy. John chapter 8, I believe it is. About verse 44, they're about is that the devil is a what? Not a spook, not somebody under the ground where with hell fire and all that kind of stuff. You don't even understand the, 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 the symbolic language that scripture uses when it refers to the hell fire. Some of you, the devil is a liar, the father of lies. 
When he lies, one translation says it's his native language. Somebody black talk black to me. Are y'all hearing me today? These four traits, liars, one that steals, kills, and destroys, that gives you insight into some stuff. Black folk need to know this and engage our enemy just like that. When you know someone is a liar, is a thief, is a killer and a destroyer, you do not say where you live, I want to live with you. Where do you work? I want to work with you. Somebody talk black to me. You don't start flapping open your mouth, telling that individual all your secrets and all your hopes and dreams. <laughs> Shout out to you, Carol, for your gift. Carol says she's a fan. Oh, thank you, beloved. I bless your gift a thousand fold. Are you hearing me? Now, let me get on with the get on. I've done numerous shows talking about how the white female is essential to the success, the maintenance of white supremacy. How many times have I done shows, family? How many podcasts have I done where I have constantly brought you numerous receipts and reminders of how deadly a racist white woman is to us? Somebody black talk black to me. Is that right, family? Well, Amy Cooper is our most recent example. And her victim is Christian Cooper. Broke back mountain, I'm sorry, forgive me, Christian Cooper, uh, this black male that was her victim. His name is Christian Cooper. Her name is Amy Cooper. No relation, but we are going to deal with today the tale of two Coopers. We're going to deal today with the tale of two Coopers. Now let's talk black family. I want to show you some footage. Instagram, I have to use this device now. Come on over Instagram to flynewbeenqueentv.com. You guys showed out today. Thank you so much. Like and share Instagram. Tell everybody that the Vicky show is on flynewbeenqueentv.com. Thank you so much, beloved. Watch this. Watch this, family. Let me put this up real quick. Thank you for giving me just a second to inform my folks. Thumbs up, thumbs up, family. While I'm putting this together, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Be sure to like and share. I'm getting something together here. Give me just a moment to do that. Also, family, while I'm doing this, don't forget that you can text the word Queens to 31996 so that you're able to receive phone notifications when we go live from time to time. Don't forget that I'm typically on weekdays, 6.30 p.m. Eastern. I know a couple of times I come a little early, depending on if something's going on with my health. That's Typically, the determinant, the deter, uh, what determines whether or not I go live early or not is if I need to get something together. And sometimes it just makes more sense for that particular day. But normally I'm here 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. I want you to set your alarms uh, so that you'll know to just come on over. But you, we see that we see why now, because what? Uh, the notifications haven't gone out. But thank those of you that are coming on in. Almost done here. Thank you so much, family.
Here we go. I want you to watch the video that some of you might be well aware of by now. I want you to watch this video that I'm cueing to remind us what we're talking about here, how we're even in this space today to be talking about this buttery bussy bite today. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit educational or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. Shout out to you, Silent Deep Production. Silent Deep Production says, Story time with Vicky. Thank you, beloved. I bless your gift a thousand fold. Thank you so much, beloved. Listen. So let's get ready to watch the video that took place. Let's get ready to watch the video that took place. We were talking a whole lot about this almost at the same time or just before the George, the George Floyd video of his open lynching took place. Right, family? Don't y'all find it fascinating that white folks don't take a break during the COVID-19 from their racism? Isn't that something that black folks, we are dealing with parallel pandemics? Lord have mercy. Did you all hear what I just said? Isn't that fascinating? So watch this. And then I'm going to share some breaking news. Please stop. Sorry, man. Here we go. Let me turn it so you can see it. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. All right. Please stop. Sir, I'm asking you to stop. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording me. Please, please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Please tell them whatever you like. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm in the ramble, and there is a man, African American, who has a place for him. He's recording me and threatening me and my dog. There is an African American man. I am in such a place. He's recording me and threatening myself and my dog. And my I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm being threatened by a man in the room. Did y'all see that? Did you all see that? Did you see that powerful performance by Becky? Did you see that Oscar worthy performance by Becky? Now, she comes out later calling herself giving a weak apology, claiming that she thinks that she was just afraid. But I want us to go through this again, and I want you to pay close attention to her actions. I want you to pay close attention to her gestures. Watch this. Would you please stop? Sorry, I'm asking you to stop. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording me. Please, please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. I'm Please keep posting. Okay, what is this that she's doing right there with her hands, family? Coming out later with a weak apology so that you don't use your high-powered job at the financial company that you once worked for, baby. We're not going for that. Look how she did her finger. Didn't Whoopi Goldberg, what's on, did, what who did Whoopi play in Color Purple? When, when that's something she did, you see, did y'all you see, did see her do this right here? What is this? What is this? People that scared, do they come close to you? Do they approach like that when they're afraid, when they're scared? Did you all see that? She engaged him. She wasn't moving away from him. She wasn't retreating. She was engaging him. Please stop. Sorry, I'm asking you to stop. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording me. Please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. I'm 
the issue was about being recorded. She knew the power of what could go down if this was to get out on social media. Girlfriend was emboldened with that finger. Was she not? Shout out to you, Laron G, for your gift. Hoping that he would get lynched in Central Park. Exactly. What's going on with the Central Park stuff? Keep watching. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African American man threatening my life. Please tell them whatever you like. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm in the ramble, and there is a man, African American, who has a bicycle helmet. He is recording me and threatening me and my dog. There is an African American man. I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. And my. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm being threatened by a man in the room. I'm being threatened by a man. Y'all, come and watch the performance. Did you all see how the performance just took on a whole new life? And when allegedly this whole thing took place because the brother asked this white female to leash her dog. She wasn't supposed to have her dog off on the leash. Now, I live in Colorado. There's a whole lot of dog lovers out here. A lot of folks got a lot of dogs and stuff. You all know we know about family dogs and stuff myself personally. Watch this. When white folks are out with their dogs, a lot of times they feel powerful when they can order them around without a leash. Shout out to you, Victor, for your gift. Shout out to you, AJ, for your gift. AJ said, I didn't get a notification this time. I know, beloved, the notifications didn't go out. The notifications did not go out, beloved. But that's the reason why I was reminding everyone um, to just make sure that um, just was reminding everyone to make sure that you set your alarms and just check the Vicky show. Shout out to you, Tylene, for your $80.40 gift. I bless it a thousand fold. Tylene is always so supportive of the Vicky show and the network. Thank you so much, beloved. Listen, listen. White folk in Colorado, at least. With the parks and all this other kind of stuff around here. You out walking with your dog. You know, you got your dog on a leash. You got this, you got that, right? But they're out there, some of them, without their dogs being on a leash. And usually when that happens to me, and it's been a long time, obviously, since that's taken place. I usually give them the eye first. And I make some distance between myself and them, like by several yards. This is me when I'm out. They're looking at me thinking, hi. I don't say hi. Ma'am, can you get your dog, please? I'm about six miles back. Ma'am, sir, your dog, could you get your dog, please? Oh, what's the first thing they say? Oh, my dog doesn't bite. I'm not here to do science projects. I'm not here to test out that theory. That's just like somebody who, 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 who is at a four-way stop and they still going fast and they getting close to the stop sign, but it doesn't look like they're getting ready to slow down. You're not going to take your chances on going through that stop sign, are you? You're going to stop just in case because they not hey, they got to give you some kind of gesture that they about to stop. Or if somebody is signaling, if you forgot your signal, okay, but baby, everything's getting ready to stop around these spots. Excuse me, ma'am, sir. That makes some of them, when they be out without their leash, they want you to see that as a sign of their power. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all play too much. They want you to see that they know how to conduct and control. They want you to see the fruit of their hands by having disciplined that dog for a while that the dog is just going to jump around at their command without a leash. I'm not here to be impressed by you. Somebody talk black to me. We out here in these parks and I probably will never see you again. Somebody talk back to me. 
Shout out to you, Carl, for your $50 gift. I bless it a thousand fold. Y'all ain't playing today with your support of black media. Thank you all so very much. Watch this. So it's a sign of respect. And because long ago I had a, an incident with the family dog. Many years ago I had an incident with the family dog. Where there was an actual fight and an attack. So I don't play with funny looking people. Shout out to you Lisa Lee. I bless your gift a thousandfold, beloved. So again this is a sign of power for white folk. When they be out, they be sitting at the Starbucks where they had a little Starbucks that let, you know, where they, outside of the Starbucks and the dog is not attached to the side of the thing and they just sit there. <laughs> look, with they mug, talking about some, just looking at them like, aren't I proud of Lassie? You and Lassie. Shout out to you, Taya, for your gift. Y'all both can get it in about five minutes. I'm under no obligation to tell you hello first. I'm under no obligation to smile. Somebody talk black to me. Y'all can both get it. Thumbs up, thumbs up, family. 1,100 plus of you in the chat. 1,100 plus of you in the chat. Welcome to the Vicky Show. We're so pleased that you have tuned in today. On the count of three, give us a thumbs up with you. On the count of three, please give us a thumbs up. One, two, three, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Now watch this. Let me just read to you some of this. So Christian Cooper, that's the brother whose voice you heard in the background, right? Christian, this is Christian. Christian made his little funny looking debut last night on Don Lemon's show. Okay. I was disgusted. But I'm just going to read you some of what took place. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, family. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And be sure to hit that notification, family. Also, at the bottom of your screen, look for the, there should be a share button. At the bottom of your screen, there should be a share button. Copy your share link and share it out all over social media. And let everybody know that the Vicky Show is on. Thank you so very much. Now, watch this. This article says from CNN's Christian Cooper, whose video of a woman calling the police on him while he was bird watching, went viral over the Memorial Day weekend. Acknowledging, acknowledged the woman's apology, but said her act was definitely racist. Not that she was racist. He said, but that her action was racist. Let me ask you all something. What are you but your action, Black family? What are you but your action, Black family? What are you but your action, Black family? Now, I'm sorry. I apologize. I told you I needed to share some breaking news before I went into that, didn't I? Here's the breaking news. I got this piece from a Black activist who had posted this. Shout out to you, Queen, for your gift. She said, I appreciate you all. Thank you. I bless you back, sis. I love you. I bless your gift a thousandfold. Watch this. And so I wanted to share this breaking news that came from a New York activist that posted this. Y'all ready for this breaking news? This is real talk. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Came in just not too long ago. Abandoned Angels Cocker Spaniel Rescue Inc. No lie. No lie. No lie. Y'all think I'm making this up. Let me show it to you. Y'all see that? Breaking news. Breaking news. Abandoned Angels Cocker Spaniel Rescue, Inc. Thank you to the concerned public for reaching out to us about a video involving a dog that was adopted from our rescue a few years ago. As of this evening, the owner has voluntarily surrendered the dog in question to our rescue while this matter is being addressed. Our mission remains the health and safety of our rescued dogs.
The dog is now in our rescue's care and he is safe and in good health. We will not be responding to any further inquiries about the situation, either publicly or privately. Thank you for your understanding. Again, Black family, please make a note. This is from Abandoned Angels Cocker Spaniel Rescue Incorporated. Now, I don't want us to be ugly to our brother, Christian Cooper. But feel free to send this link to Christian. With his new self. Christian, with your brand new self. Christian, you needed to know this important information from this particular Cocker Spaniel Society. Why? The dog received better treatment. The concern from white folk was more about that dog than it was about you. So it's shocking for us to know the extraordinary lack of male masculinity that you're showing. It's extraordinary. Listen to what the article says. 1,300 plus of you in the chat. Welcome to the Vicky Show. We're so pleased that you're with us. Keep giving us a thumbs up, liking and sharing. I got just a few more minutes. I want to make this point and keep it moving. Listen, Cooper said, this is during his little Don Lemon interview. He says that her act was definitely racist. I think her apology is sincere, Cooper told CNN's Don Lemon Tuesday night. I'm not sure that that. In that apology, she recognizes that while she may not be or consider herself a racist, that particular act was definitely racist. Now, see, that's how you know this brother has a college degree, because some of you all that have gotten education, higher education, you've inverted that knowledge in a most twisted and ineffective way. Your funny looking self trying to wax poetic. And you look just as dumb with your low density self. That's from the dictionary. These low density black elites, instead of just calling your open enemy what they are, you try to make a separation between who she may be in the act. Well, she may not be a, a racist, but her act certainly was. Shout out to you, Miss B, for your gift. Watch this. He goes on. And the fact that there was her, and the fact that that was her recourse at that moment, granted, uh, at that moment, watch what he says, y'all. He says, granted, it was a stress, stressful situation, a sudden situation, you know, maybe a moment of spectacularly poor judgment, but she went there and had this racist act that she did. Sit so you buttery pussy bite. Can't wait to get my new trophy with y'all on it. But this is what I can do in the meantime. <laughs> it's the best I can do in the meantime. Congratulations. Christian Cooper. Dinner sticks. I like this, this dog's teeth right here on this snack. Got that bling going. This is for you, Christian Cooper. Congratulations. It's the closest to the buttery bussy bite that I could get today. This is for you. Why y'all laughing at me? All I'm seeing is all these laughing emojis. Thumbs up, thumbs up, family. 1,400 plus of you in the chat. Welcome to the Vicky Show. Make sure you text the word Queens to 31996. And by the way, don't forget that we have a shop where you can get these beautiful mugs like this one that I'm drinking out of, uh, backpacks, all kinds of um, products from us, shirts that say Talk Black to Me and Beyond. Go to shopfnq.com. That's shopfnq.com. 
Vicky, why are you being so hard on him? I'm not being hard on him. I'm not being hard enough. Now, I heard somebody say, but Vicky, I can't stand the fact that we jump out here and we start defending these folks. And somebody was saying how they need to wait from now on before they start defending people to find out their background. Let me tell y'all something. I get that. That makes sense. We do. However, when I go, when I'm dealing with something or somebody, it's never about that one individual black person. And that's what I want to get ready to tell this buttery pussy bite. This is for you. Striking resemblance. Because Negroes always brown with a big white smile for massa. It's always that, 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 that gleam in the teeth, the tooth. <laughs> One of your teeth. Singularly, it's a tooth. Always got that shine to it because you're always smiling real hard for massa. Just, just. If you ain't never smile, come out smiling for your people. Showing love for your people. But for Massa, you always just smiling. Just brown and just white teeth. Watch this. He said, granted, it was a stressful situation. A sudden situation, you know. Maybe a moment of spectacularly poor judgment. Fool, what are you talking about, dummy? What do you mean? Bussy bite? Christian Cooper, that it was a stressful situation, a sudden situation. No, she just didn't have that little dog on the leash. You asked her funny looking self to put the dog on the leash. She escalated to get you lynched, fool. You understood the profundity of the moment. That's why you started to record to save your own life, dummy. And you giving her all these benefits of the doubt, talking about, granted, it was a stressful situation. It was a sudden situation, you know, maybe a moment of spectacularly poor judgment. What are you talking about? This is what I mean, black family, when I say too often we're complicit in our own undoing. Black folks, shut up. You just can't resist the inner demon, which is that inner slave to defend and to protect your open enemy. Some of you Negroes, some of you that are still slavish on the inside, some of you that still feel uncomfortable, some of you that still feel led to quote unquote forgive, some of you that still feel like, well, maybe she shouldn't get all that. Well, she gonna learn a lesson. No, this fool needs to be arrested. And if capital murder attends a charge with her for just instigating that, she should get that too. AJ say, help us please. I'm doing my best, beloved. But your new self. What do you mean he's new, Vicky? The man is in his late 40s. No, you knew. You knew to this revolutionary movement that's been going on for some time. This black family is why I have to keep talking about stuff like this because of the existence of the Christian Coopers, these low density individuals that exist. That's from the Victionary. I keep telling you, from the Victionary. You trying to peacock. <laughs> God, today. You out here peacocking for Miss Ann. Who willfully and knowingly engaged in a behavior, engaged in an activity to activate a white supremacist system that would have ended your career, screwed over your legacy. And taking away your very life, fool. And it's to that one. It's to that woman. It's to that female. Let me get it right. It's to that female. That your inner demon wants to do this. resist this is a sign 
of satanic possession. I am doing the Lord's work by endeavoring to cast out the inner slave in you that just can't help but to defend and to protect the very individuals that have a history of getting us murdered and killed and destroying us. You know how they got these, what these little medical clinics or whatnot, where you, when, when white folks is out here high on all these opioids and stuff, and heroin and, and all these drugs and stuff, And a few of our people, when they need to have a place to go to detox, is that what they're doing, family? Black folk need a clinic, a white supremacist slave detox center where you all can go and just let it get all out your system. You feel what I'm saying? There's a place you got to go to, a clinic. So when you're having them withdrawals real bad and stuff, when you having them real bad withdrawals, them white supremacists withdrawal, we just leave you in that clinic. God today, we gotta leave you over there. Shout out to you, Rodney. Rodney said our present day Malcolm X is VD. Oh, thank you. You're so kind, beloved. I bless your gift a thousandfold. Listen, we're gonna have to get a bunch of them clinics popped up. And I don't claim to be more than what I really am, but maybe, just maybe, just maybe. They can put two or three of my videos in there with me hollering and screaming. <laughs> As a part of your detox program. G. Williams says, fats, preach queen. Said, who is that lady with the braids and curly braids for half flying all over with the jury and stuff screaming? Put me up in that clinic with you. Digitally. Just a concentration of just back to back. Well, you can't go nowhere, but just hear me hollering and scream for 24 hours. <laughs> Somebody talk black to me and listen to all my podcasts on Becky. Pay attention to my historical uh, podcast where we're giving you the history and the breakdown. You're going to be out your mind by the time I'm done with you. 1400 plus of you in the chat. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Shout out to you, Kim Anderson. Kim says, whew, triple action award goes to, since you know I love you so much. Kim, I love you back. I bless your very generous gift, a thousandfold. And then she turned around and she gave me a private generous gift. Kim, thank you so much for supporting black media. And me personally, that's my sister. I thank you so much. Mwah. You all don't know that you all, we are collectively black media. You know, I say that all the time. I mean it. You keep us going. You all know they like to mess with our website. You know, when you're seeing other YouTube people and stuff, they being monetized all over the place. This kind of stuff. That's how you, child, please. You don't know the, some of the secret background stuff that some of the networks that I'm on deal with. So your support matters. You're elevating our black collective voice and making it more powerful. And that's how our voice is able to reverberate when we collectively do this together. When you give, when you like the, 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 the show, when you share. When they out there talking about what's MSNBC and Fox News, you say, wait a minute. Do you know who Vicky Dillard is on FlyNubingQueenTV.com? Who cares about a Don Lemon? Do you know who Vicky is? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm saying that we make our own voices important and relevant. The war child, I bless your gift. The war child says, when the queen speaks, we hush and listen. Oh, bless you. And I bless your gift a thousandfold. Watch this. Watch this. With his new self. This is why I have to keep doing what I do. This is why other members of black media and conscious individuals have to continue to do what we do. Some of you all are consistent. You hear this. But never take it for granted that you're hearing this. You know why? Because Christian Coopers exist, still running around. Like he's Brent Jean, both of Jean's brother. Lick it on, love it on, hug it on, squeeze it on. Your open enemy. Killers of black people. 
and trying to normalize that madness. Watch this. Keep listening. The woman, Amy Cooper, said in an earlier, an earlier comments to CNN, she wanted to publicly apologize to everyone. Let me keep reading. They both told CNN, watch this, the two encountered each other Monday morning in New York Central Park. Okay, I'm skipping. They both told CNN that their interaction began because her dog was not on a leash, which violated the area's rules. So what was Christian's funny looking self talking about when he said he understands that this was a, a you know, stressful situation? Fool, stressful? See, white folks, it was stressful for white folks because white folks don't like to be told what to do. In that sense, I guess he's right. Because white folk don't like to be told what to do. That situation, remember, if y'all follow me on Twitter, I don't, I don't play on Twitter. Go to Twitter at Dillard Vicky. Go to Twitter at Dillard Vicky. Follow me on Twitter at Dillard Vicky. Listen, I keep telling y'all, I was saying all on Twitter, over and over again about the nature of these individuals. It's not human like, but the nature is rebellion. It's rebellion to what's good and just. I'm not talking about you rebel because you don't want to do your hair like everybody else's. I'm not talking about you rebelling because you don't believe beauty is just one uh, 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 myopic thing. They rebel to what's right. They rebel to something that would benefit more than just themselves. <laughs> your nature is rebellious. So because that's your nature and because I ask you to do what you should already be doing, you don't want to be told what to do. So that elevated the situation to the point to where you could have gotten me killed murdered and injured, knowingly activating a system that supports you with your heart to look at self. Somebody talk black to me. Shout out to you, Apollo Mac, for your gift. Apollo says, Vicky, I want to marry you. You on fire tonight. Well, I'm not sure about that, beloved, but thank you for your kind words and thank you for supporting black media, beloved. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, family. There's 1,400 plus of you in, in here, almost about 1,500 plus of you in here. On the count of three, for those of you that haven't, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and make sure that every single one of you are subscribed. Are you ready? One, two, three, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, and make sure that you're subscribed, family. Make sure you're subscribed. They both told CNN that their interaction began because her dog was not on a leash, which violated the area's rules. Moments later, a video recorded by Christian Cooper shows a woman saying she was going to call the police and going to tell them that, that there's an African-American man threatening my life. This white woman knew the script. They're born knowing the script. Systems and institutions. This is what we talk about, family. When we say that white supremacy is not just an individual, white supremacy is about a system. That's the true part of white supremacy. White folks in and of themselves are not better than us inherently by nature. Racist outdoorsmen are not better than us. <laughs> but the systems that they've put in place over several hundred years, and some would even say over the past 6,000 years, they've been uh, 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 creating hell on earth. But specifically for the last 500 years, are y'all hearing me? They've created systems and institutions that benefit them. That's the truth of white supremacy. So when you hear Vicky talk about white supremacy, I'm talking about the systems. I'm talking about government. I'm talking about the courts. I'm talking about Wall Street. I'm talking about the educational system. I'm talking about the military. I'm talking about these different areas of people activity where they've dominated and they've made into a machine to work in their favor and against us. She knew how to activate law enforcement for her favor. So the work that I'm doing to shift the consciousness is an act of warfare. 
Did you all hear what I just said? People that are trying to educate you and do what I'm doing and beyond. Miz said, I'm crying, swear I'm crying. Oh, bless your heart, beloved. Because she knows that she was able to access a system that would support her lie. Because there was a consciousness in mainstream America to where she knew that exists. The work we're doing, which is an, a defensive move and it's offensive as well. It's a counter move. We're engaged right now in media, in counter warfare. Warfare is not just about physical bloodshed, which I'll be discussing later in the week. Our dear brother, George Floyd. See, we were talking about this before you heard about George Floyd before the Breonna Taylor Wright situation, before the injustice that her man Kenneth Walker experienced, before Ahmaud Arbery, people that blow off shows like mine are the ones that's acting outraged at this when our shows are intended to prevent the bloodshed. It's to give you the heads up to properly identify your enemy in war in order to what? Mitigate and lessen casualties. Somebody said no more prayer. No, baby, keep praying. But you better pray and get up and bust a move after you made that prayer. Huh, that's the point. When I pray, I'm looking for the most guided action. It's to receive power and insight on the most effective action that I can take. Baby, your prayer for black folk when it's properly directed is what gives you the advantage in war. I'm glad you said that in the comment section. It's when you don't do nothing about the prayer. It's when you don't actually hear after the prayer. It's when you mess up. And when you say, oh, prayer doesn't mean nothing. Prayer is how you access divine intelligence. God today. How many times have I talked to you guys about the importance of war of intelligence in warfare? Did not did I not share with you the profound statement from Dr. Attorney Ava Muhammad, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan spokeswoman? Remember, I told you she shared a profound statement when she said, "Whoever has the superior thought has a superior action." There's an advantage black folk have when you understand your spirituality, your energy, your metaphysics. And some of you are fool enough to throw it away because of the mess that your open enemy has made with it. But let me say something to you. What you look like throwing away the true parts and the most excellent parts, the gems of spiritual practices because your open enemy made a mess of it. Let me ask you this. What area do you know of where your open enemy hasn't made a mess of? There isn't an area. There is not an area that exists where your open enemy hasn't made a mess of it. Your goal, our job, is to make new systems and to thoroughly and fully and wholly undo the ones that are in place. They want you to throw away all of your spirituality so they can keep having domination over you. Haiti, but just not just Haiti, even certain factions here in the United States amongst our ancestors, they were successful in some of their rebellions and some of their uprisings. Haiti was successful in their warfare. Why? Not because they had more military personnel. Their strategy, their guerrilla warfare was more effective because they tapped into the spirit first before they busted a move. 
That's a strategic advantage that we have. Some of you are unfamiliar with that reality. And so you blow it off because those that said that they had quote unquote religion and God and stuff, you look at their life and you say, well, your life is pretty useless. That's cool. No, that's true. Some, that's true. I'm so mean. <laughs> but you would be thoroughly foolish if you wouldn't properly seek out that which would cause you to maximize your effectiveness. A part of the issue with our people and our lack of unity is not just about common sense and logic. A lot of it is spiritual. Some of it is subconscious. A lot of it deals with the soul. Fifteen hundred plus of you in the chat. Welcome to the Vicky Show. I know we've had folks that said that they didn't get the notifications. You didn't get them because they didn't go out on time. But we're thankful that you tuned in and that you joined us anyway. Thumbs up, thumbs up, family. Thumbs up, thumbs up. I was supposed to get ready to go here in just a moment. Give me a few more minutes, would you? I'm pushing back the next thing that I'm supposed to be doing right now. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Listen. And by the way, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard. Follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard. And don't forget to check out our store for Fly Nubian Queen at shopfnq.com. Somebody put that in the chat. ShopFNQ.com. Watch this. So the question was asked about her being racist, right? Listen to this white woman's. That thing right there. She says, I'm not a racist. I did not mean to harm that man in any way. Is she racist? This is what Christian Cooper, the black man who was the victim there said. Is she racist? I can't answer that. Only she can answer that. And I would submit probably the only way she's going to answer that is going forward. She had uh, how she conducts herself and, you know, how she chooses to reflect on this situation and examine it. What biscuit? What did you say, Christian? I was looking up information about him because only someone that sits in white schools taught by white people, do y'all come out saying stuff like that? You matriculate through their schools while they play with your mind. God, today, the thing that you brag about, the little piece of paper that you brag about that you got from white racist white folks, from racist institutions, is that you submitted yourself and many of you actually got in debt. So that they could program your mind. Shout out to you, Desmond, for your gift. Desmond said, I love you for the knowledge. Keep it coming. I love you back. And I bless your gift a thousandfold. Did you hear what I said? You bragging about the mind control you paid for and went in debt for. And then you turn around and want us to be impressed with it. Baby, the grassroots black folks, we're not impressed with that. I'm impressed with that. Funny looking self out there saying some madness like that. We know you went to a white school because they trained you how to think. When y'all go to them schools, you're not taught how to think. You're taught, watch this, what to think. They ain't teaching you, look at me, I'm trying to pull my braid back. They ain't teaching you how to be no liberator. They're teaching you how to exist within a system of white supremacy as a slave, fool. Little buttery bussy bite. Just bussy and buttery and just moisture, just flinging and everywhere, just everywhere. She engaged in open warfare. Y'all don't get it twisted. How many times 
Have I told you that the battlefield we're on in this country is not like the one, the images that you've seen in Afghanistan and in Iraq? Somebody say, prove it, Vicky. Somebody say, prove it, Vicky. Y'all want to see the battlefield in this case? What does the battlefield look like here? It looks like a park. Sir, I'm asking you to stop. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording. Please, please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell you. Do you all see the battlefield? Do you all see the battlefield right there? 1,600 plus of you in the chat. Welcome to the Vicky Show. Do you all see the battlefield? Do you see the park? That's the battlefield. What's the uniform? The whiteness? What's the other uniform? The blackness? That's how y'all get confused. You didn't know that the park was a, was a, was a, come on y'all. Buffalo just gave a gift. Thank you, beloved. Buffalo said, your voice moves mountains. Thank you, beloved. I bless your gift and your kind words a thousandfold. Listen, that's the battlefield. She fired a serious shot. And you barely missed it. You know what he did there? After he managed to dodge the bullet from the enemy. He turned around, picked up the bullet, gave the other side the gun and said, well, just go on and shoot me then if you won't. Him not being clear. He wasn't done with his bussy chit chat. Watch this. Watch what else. Watch this. Watch this. He wasn't done. Watch this. Remember, I just read you this part. Is she racist? I can't answer that. Only she can answer that. And I will submit probably the only way she's going to answer that is going, uh, is going forward. How she conducts herself and, you know, how she chooses to reflect on this situation and examine it. Fool, sit down and stop putting the black, black society back, Miles. With your new self. Watch this. He says he never expected the video to explode in the way that it did. He said he hoped that it, it he, he said he hoped that if they both went on Lemon Show together Tuesday, it would help bring bring a close to something that has snowballed quite significantly. Do you all see this extraordinary display of weakness? This peacocking. Y'all know what a peacock is? We went to the Jackson Zoo when I was a little girl. We would see the peacocks. They would open up, what, all of their feathers and would just strut. Negro strutting for the enemy. Strutting for the one that's getting ready to destroy your life, fool. And you having withdrawals after that incident. After you were successful with your video. She lost a little job. How many white people you know that have a problem getting a job? A uh, uh, bussy, Christian, Cooper. Shout out to you, BJ. Rip George. You just hang out. Rip George indeed. Watch this. It's you that don't have no jobs. That's why we keep telling you to make one. Shut up. He ain't done. Before I finish my analysis on this Negro. He says he recognizes she has also probably received a significant number of messages like he has, but urged those reaching out to remain civil. Watch this. This is a quote from him. This is a quote. I told you guys, feel free to share my link with Christian Cooper. Be respectful, black family. We don't have to be ratchet like Cardi B's people that shouldn't even exist and those like her. The Doja Cats, that little disgusting piece of whatever that claims that she's half black. I don't know. I'm starting to think of it as case by case. That doja, that cat. She admits she's an animal. God today.
Let me get on with this and not jump off because y'all know I'll go there. Watch this. He says, I find it strange. No, he says, I am told there has been death threats. And that and he says, I am told that there has been death threats and that is wholly inappropriate and abhorrent and should stop immediately. First place knew it's probably a lie that she's getting death threats, fool. Just like she lied on camera about you to your face and was willing and was making it clear to you, I'm going to lie to get you in trouble. Shout out to you, Ernest C. First of all, when a liar is moving their lips, when a liar is breathing, we should automatically assume that there are some lies that's coming out. So first of all, we're not going to legitimize that at all, fool. No, no, no. Sit down, tune in to the Vicky Show and detox. God, the day. <laughs> detox. Let's put you in a clinic so that you can get all of this white supremacy, you know, meritorious man, your mission, spirit and demon out you. The desire to protect them. Stay in that clinic until it's all out. What do all the, what all, what's some of the stuff that happens, family, when folks are detoxing? Put some of that in the comment section. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see some of it, but put it in there for me. Go through all of those stages. Just a passionate sambo. Yes, yeah, somebody said you get the shakes. Somebody said shakes, headaches, withdrawal. Somebody said pooping. Vomiting, dry out, do all of that. Cause please, cause see, these are these are, this is what's going on with you right now. You having all these withdrawals, baby. Sit your butt down. Y'all get him my links. Lock him up in a white supremacist clinic. Get it out you. Get them shakes out you. Get it all out your system. Shout out to you, Herbert. Mr. Cooper is lost. Yes, he is. But watch what he says. I am told that there has been death threats and that is wholly inappropriate and abhorrent and should stop immediately. First of all, bussy, we ain't even listening to you, fool. <laughs> Number one, let's be clear. Christian, Christian thinks we're listening to him because we made his video go viral. Let me prophesy to you today. Y'all, please give him this link and everybody that think like him. Let me help you understand something a little bit. You think that we did what we did for you individually? <laughs> Boy, sit down, new. This hardly has anything to do with you at all as an individual. You ain't running nothing, pussy. We made this go viral because of the catastrophic effects that it has on the black collective and this is why I'm giving you this work today you think this is about you individually that's why you should have kept your mouth shut because it's about us fool shout out to you Eric Eric said love you queen I don't cuss but I believe in the BTAA, beat that OA association. And Eric, thank you for your kind words. And whoever my, I believe my sister is or my brother is that just snuck and gave me a secret gift the other day, a, a, a privately, thank you so much. I bless your gifts for the network and me personally a thousandfold. This is what you got wrong, Christian. We didn't make this go viral for you individual pussy bite, bro, back mountain. Shout out to you, Black Mama. She says he should speak for George Floyd, who can't speak for himself. I know that's right. Wiggy Will, thank you for your gift. He says even Jesus whipped behind in the temple. I know that's right. Thumbs up, thumbs up, family. Be sure to like and share. Listen. 
This is not going viral because of you individually, fool. This is about what happens to black folks in general as a collective. And because you getting it twisted, that's why I've got to check you now. It's bigger than you. This is bigger than you. We made this go viral because this has to do with the strategy that white supremacy uses. And we were exposing it, calling it out. Don't get it twisted, boy. This ain't about you individually. That's why I'm pleased to check you. It's your confused self. Like, we're not even listening to you. What? But then you didn't stop there. He says, I find it strange that people who were upset that she tried to bring death by cop down on my head would then turn around and try to put death threats on her head. Where is the logic in that? Where does that make any kind of sense? Fool, first of all, it don't make no sense because she's probably lying, fool. And you the big fool for believing that, that those things that she's even saying is even kind of true. And secondly, if it was true that she was getting it, you just acknowledge in this statement, he just acknowledged, and I'm quoting him here, I find it strange that people who were upset by that, that she tried to bring death by cop down on my head. He just admitted from his own mouth that she was trying to get him killed. And you gonna turn around and sympathize with the killer fool? Shout out to you, Marie, for your $48.99 gift. Sister Vicky, we love you and are an inspiration. Your African sister from London, thank you for your kind gift, your kind words. I bless my family around the world. I bless you a thousand fold. Dr. Boyce, when he went to Europe, some, what was it last year or the year before? He told me, he said, Vicky, you got so much love from your, um, I think he went to London, from your London family. I want to say it's London, somewhere in Europe, but I think, I think it was. I want you all to know I love you back. I love you back. Thank you so much of your support of FlyNubinQueenTV.com and the Vicky Show. Do you see how sick you are, Black family? When you manifest low-density thinking, I got a word for you from a black female general who's now an ancestor. I don't mean no disrespect to him, Christian Cooper. Christian, you was there bird watching. Maybe that's, you just stick to what you, go back to bird watching. Don't try to start waxing profound because you come out looking stupid. Just shut up. That's your next duty. Just hush. When you get them withdrawals to defend white folks, you just tell Don Lemon, you know what? I can't come on. <laughs> that's what you do. You don't go out there and just show all the world what you, you know, your issues. Because you start making excuses and stuff. And that affects us. Somebody tell this fool, this ain't even got nothing to do with you. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, black family. Be sure to like and share. I'm almost done. Tell this bird watching. Go, go back to paying attention to them birds. Just go back to bird watching. Do what you was trying to do before she didn't put that dog on the leash. That's your destiny right there. And ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm for real. I'm not. I'm just saying when you stick to bird watching, you thrive in what you're good at. You know what I'm saying? You're not good at trying to speak for black. Just don't do that. For God's sake, don't do that. <laughs> black folks start winning. You get scared. That's what Snoop funny looking self did. Snoop actually said that. Remember? I did a show on it. Snoop talked, when we started, so many people began to support what Snoop was saying when it came down to, to that whole thing with um, Gail King and stuff. Snoop told me he was scared of his own power. My God. So you just go out, start cooning? 
Go back to bird watching. Just go, just somebody put some birds in the chat. Just go back to bird watching. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We all got a thing in the world to do. And that's your destiny. Because we see you a disaster at this <laughs> disaster when you start opening up your mouth for black interests. Don't do that. Don't just don't, don't talk. Tell Don Lemon you having withdrawals and you, you're not ready for that yet. You're still in the clinic. In the clinic. Listen to me hollering in the background about Becky and stuff. Watch this. I'm scared that we're going to forget. Let me, let, me, let me let somebody else who's not screaming right now, but whose voice needs to be heard. Family, don't forget to check out our store, shopfnq.com. By the way, by the way, if you want to start building your black business, this season, this time that we're in right now is no time better than the present. Let me tell you something. This is not going to be the first plague that's come on America. But let me tell you something. Black folks can thrive in it. Do you know that it's written in scripture when the children of Israel were in the process of their exodus? That while there was darkness for the enemy, while there was darkness for the so-called Egyptians, there was light for the children of God. When you're obedient, when you're doing what's good and what's best for the black collective, you can thrive in times of difficulty for members of the dominant society. One of the ways I believe that you can do that now is go to flynubianbusiness.com to start your own. Because see, when you are getting 100% of your income from your open enemy, babe, you ain't doing no liberation work when you totally own. Things are more difficult when that's the case. And I want us to thrive. I want you to have extra resources so that you can leave um, a little something for your children and your children's children. I want you to have more money so that you can start underwriting black schools and organizations, even if you're not the one to build it, you can be the ones to fund it. FlyNubianBusiness.com, the link is in the chat. Watch this. Watch this. I told you I wasn't going to be long, didn't I? Watch this. Not as long as I could be. Watch this. Watch this. How many of you I remember and know of our great ancestor, Dr. Francis Chris Wilson? How many of you all know of our great ancestor, Dr. Francis Chris Wilson? That great writer of the book, The Isis Papers, The Keys to the Colors. The Isis Papers, The Keys to the Colors. Dr. Frances Chris Wilson, I've quoted from our sister before. She used her education. She used her big, beautiful black brain for the liberation of our people by, by discussing the thinking of our open enemy. I want you to listen to something that she said in her book, the ISIS papers that I read so many years ago. Listen, I had to pull this piece. She says, critical, watch this, Critical. I hope y'all read it. If you have children, this statement that she said is, is pretty direct. I think your children should hear this, but I want to let you know, give the parents a heads up that this is going to be pretty profound, what our sister says here. So just as you, if you're a parent, just FYI. The link for our dear sister is in the chat as well. Listen. Listen. Critical, she says it's on page 285. This is labeled Black Women Moving for Towards the 21st Century. Listen, critical in the history of white supremacy was the decision not to control Black and other women of color, but to control the men of color. Thousands upon thousands of Black men, she says, in the U.S. were lynched and castrated to drive home the message that white men intended to control the balls. She says the word balls in quotes. In this world, both on and off the court. Whoo! Did y'all hear that? White males understood that they needed white women as well as black women to help them achieve and maintain this power relationship. White women always have known 
what they stood to gain, their own survival as whites. Black women have been confused and less clear in fully understanding how they had, have been led to cooperate in this deadly power game of white supremacy. Further, black women do not understand fully that they have nothing to gain and everything to lose if this deadly game continues. Did you hear our black mother ancestor tell us how white supremacy needs both the white woman and the black woman? Did you hear her say critical in the history of white supremacy was a decision not to control black and other women of color, but to control the men of color. Thousands upon thousands of black men in the U.S. were lynched and castrated to drive home the message that white men intended to control the balls in this world, both on and off the court. If you get the book, y'all, she breaks down the balls in basketball, football, the balls on the, on the, even the black and the white balls on the pool table. She breaks down the golf balls. Y'all ain't ready for that. She even breaks down the open legs on the football field that the black ball goes through. God today. She's a physician, a psychiatrist, and she breaks down all of that. That white woman is something else. Remember I told you that the Honorable Elisha Muhammad, that great leader and founder of the Nation of Islam last century. Do you all remember when I told you that one of the things he warned us of was that the white man's last trick was the woman? Shout out to you, Sterling, for your gift. I bless it a thousand fold. When y'all gonna listen? See, you new people that's new to the world. You 25 years old, you 30 years old, you 50 years old. You think you know so much. And the wisdom that he's talking about is proven to be true today. The wisdom from him saying your open enemy is not going to change. How it makes no sense to be talking about integration when you need to be trying to talk about separation. God, today. Did y'all hear what I just said? Can I tell you one more thing that our dear sister said? May I tell you, may I give us wisdom that's greater than my own from a black ancestor? May I do that? She also says, watch this. She says, black females must understand that we always will be oppressed as will our sons and daughters unless black men are liberated to defend themselves. Christian Cooper, bussy! That's an excellent point, Duel. Duel says all the games that black men play have, have big brown balls. That's exactly right. And have you also noticed that all the games that black men play, they appear to dominate it when they're on the court, but it's white men through, through attorneys, through agents, through coaches that still, and owners that still dominate it. That's right, AJ. Somebody talk black to me. Listen to what she says. Shout out to you, Louise, for your gift. Said, pound that gavel. Court is in session. Keep up the great work, Vicky. This is for you, beloved. I sure will. I bless your gift a thousandfold. Listen. She says, black females must understand that we always will be oppressed, as will our sons and daughters, unless black men are liberated to defend themselves, black females, and black children from any and all attacks and insults. Do y'all hear her speaking from the grave? The first lessons to black women were harsh and cruel ones of sexual assault and abuse, taking their children away and forcing them to watch their men, men being lynched and castrated. But then these harsh lessons, harsh lessons were followed by milder treatment of black women as compared to black men. Black women were given extra food, money, clothing, and other gifts for their special favors 
to the enslavers. They were rewarded for correctly teaching their children to conform to the enslavers' wishes, as well as for telling their men to calm down and be patient so that they too could be rewarded. I ain't that chick, baby. I ain't that one, baby. I ain't that. I'm not that one. I'm not going to tell my man to be reckless and stupid and stuff, but baby, as it relates to you defending me, and ours, you better hear the wisdom of uh, Mother Goddess, Dr. Francis Chris Wilson. And I can't tell that kind of manhood in Christian Cooper making that statement. Black families, stop assisting our open enemies in our own undoing. Somebody please tell this fool that we're at war. Don't forget to share this, share this video with Christian Cooper. Share this video with Amy Cooper. Share this video with anybody you think think like them. Share this video with old dead black media. Tell him this ain't even about him individually. We laughing at you, fool. You ain't, we ain't even listening to you. Cooper, did nobody make this go viral for you individually, boy? Sit. God sake. Cut this out. Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> There's another link in the chat also for your viewing pleasure. Concerning who he is. There's a, a, a piece that I pull uh, from the advocate called Christian Cooper. Here it is. You can see it yourself. Y'all see that? Because I was trying to learn who this brother was. I could tell he had some education that was misused. It was inverted. The wisdom that you got, the knowledge y'all get from these white colleges, it, you turn in, you turn it, that knowledge in on yourself. It don't work right. You start to try to wax profound on stupid stuff. Shut up. Christian Cooper, black victim of racist New York City incident, is a gay editor. Yeah, I mean, that's you. I, ain't, I mean, that's you. That's your lifestyle. I ain't trying to dog the brother for that, but I'm just saying, we're going to have to, we can't, it's got to be some, some muscles and strength. Physical muscles, verbal muscles. It can't be that weakness of backing Becky when you acknowledge she was trying to get you killed. The problem with this bussy boy saying and acknowledging that Amy Cooper could have got him killed is that the reality is the way he responded now, he's helping to get us killed because you're signaling to our open enemy that it's open season and that we overreacted. It wasn't that big of a deal because you escaped it this time. Fool, you could be uh, you could be Ahmad Aubrey, where you couldn't even be here to tell the story. You could be our brother George Floyd, who I plan on talking about sometime this week. Very likely tomorrow. Inshallah. So because you escaped, because you made it, you think that you're the one that has the power to give breaks to white folks? Fool, we we defrocked you. You don't even have no power. Shit. We're not even listening to you. We, we running this. The black grassroots who knows what time it is. We got this. You just go sit down now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. That's all. When I say thank you loud, that means it's over. Stop. For God's sake, stop. And now stop. <laughs> thank you, dear family. Let me get ready to go. I love you to pieces. We're not going to be jumping off. When we see manifestations of conspicuous madness, we're going to put that thing in check. So y'all sitting at the CNN and tell CNN to write about that. 
write about how nobody agrees with the sentiment of Christian Cooper. And in fact, we know it's not enough that this knucklehead lady lost her job. She needs to be charged. The dog got better treatment than you from white people. Why are you still sitting here trying to defend them and give them the benefit of the doubt? You're the reason why we keep losing so many casualties. And I'm going to need you little buttery bussy bites to stand down. That's all I got to say. Stand down, bussies. Bussies. It's a whole league of choir stand full of <laughs> God today. Choir stand full of buttery bussy bites. Just stop. You don't have to take it from here. You can just go back to bird watching. And I don't mean to be funny because everybody got a destiny. If I was a bird watcher, I wouldn't get what nobody said. I'm going to be out there watching my birds. That's what you need to keep doing. Family, don't forget to text the word Queens 31996. Subscribe to FileNewBeQueenTV.com. At the bottom of the screen, you should see where it says share. Share out the link. Copy the link. And then share it out on all your social media uh, uh, podcasts. Uh, uh, platforms. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard. Subscribe to my personal YouTube channel at Vicky Dillard. I love you to pieces. I hope to see you tomorrow the same time, same place. Oh, what an honor and a privilege so many of you all gave. Thank you for those of you who didn't give. Your support by being here matters. Your comments matter. When you share, when you like, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thank you. I came to you in peace. I leave you in peace. Mwah.